Where are we at? What is it? I haven't been here in so long, I don't even remember the name. Yeah, what are you doing This here? is the track. This is a, it's an oval, it's measured. <laughs> 400 meters, I believe. Uh, this is a Richard B. Wilson Middle School. And um, we are going to reintroduce speed. I uh, did, I don't know, I think it's been maybe two months of fairly aerobic work. Definitely did some reps, but they were very aerobic. Uh, and now we will reintroduce some top end stuff. The catch, though, is the carbons, they've been taken away. We're throwing them in the trash! And why has the carbons been taken away? There's the Mach 5s. I think they're a nice middling shoe, a little bit of pad, a little bit of uh, responsiveness. And why have they been taken away? I mean, after three years of growing addicted to them, um, I, I do think you lose something from doing all of your training in them. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know if there's been studies or something, but going back to these and trying to run quick, I'm like, oh yeah, I've lost something. Like <laughs> to run 320Ks in normal shoes is like really hard. Whereas, you know, most of my life really of my running life, I always ran in normal shoes and you just brought out the race shoes on race day for the most part. Maybe you do like one rep race week in the, in the racing flats or the spikes. But otherwise, you never use race shoes in practice. And somehow, we've all grown addicted to them. Maybe not all, but many of the people I know. And uh, I don't know, after three years, I feel like I've lost something from doing that. And so I would like to get it back. And then I'd like to have that nice little psychological boost. I'm a bit shoe sensitive, so I definitely will put the, the carbons into a workout maybe a couple weeks before the race. But, um, I'm excited to get that little, you know, boost that you would get when you put the racing flats on. You'd be like looking at the watch and you'd be like, damn, I'm running good. I'd like to get that again. Uh, your, your theme has been the body knows paces or an effort, not time. How does that uh, incorporate into not running, wearing carbons? Well, I mean, you do got to throw out the time a little bit. Certainly the times that you were hitting in the carbons. I mean, I, I think if you hit the same times as the carbons, uh, then what's the point of the carbons? You know what I mean? Like, um, but I won't be able to do that. So this one will listen to the body for the most part. Um, I've got 10 twos, five fours and 10 twos. And uh, I don't know what to expect to be honest with you. I haven't tried to run a fast rep whatsoever other than that previous workout we did, um, where it was a progressive run. I haven't tried to run fast other than that in normal shoes since literally 2020. So we're going to get some data here now. That's freaking hard. I'm trying to go like under 34. <laughs> it is freaking hard. How important is high intensity? Um, high end work on the track and running. I think it's important for the muscle recruitment for sure. You know, otherwise you get really lazy. Your best form for sure is exhibited the faster you're running. So. Um, I mean, I think it's a good technical exercise and it's good for muscle recruitment. And so, I mean, you're not gonna be anywhere near these paces in an Ironman, but you are, you know, it's all the same systems at use. So, I think you need to hit it sometimes for sure. All the time, probably not gonna do a ton for your Ironman, but sometimes everything in moderation. Sometimes speed work, good. High-end speed work. Right now, for me, in this state, very good.
Let's go. All the way to the finish. Every rep matters. Come on. Back. No. Beta talk. Yep. Wow. Still incredible. Up. Absolutely incredible. The difference. Part of it, mind boggling. I would describe it as mind boggling. Oh, mind boggling. <sighs> You put in the work now to win later. You can't, at this stage, I can't focus on the time too much because I hit 70 once, but like mentally, that's like, oh, that's not very good. But it, the effort was very good. So. Big big workout. How do you feel to be done? You learn anything? Oh yeah. I mean, there's there's something there's something here, like with certainty. There is something here. I'm gonna go at nine eight if you don't mind. Ish. The uh, that was that was um, that was incredibly hard. <laughs> like I, I would look at that workout a little while ago and be like, oh, this, this is a joke, this is easy, hit this. That was very hard, in a good way though, really good way. I must be really lazy when I put on the, whatever the shoes do to aid you. It must really help me. Because that was just like weird hard. Like, I can't produce the speed, you know? So, oh, it was wonderful. I mean, you train like this, you ain't gonna wanna post your workouts. Everyone's gonna laugh at you. <laughs> so, that was cool, it was fun, old school. We're doing some old school hard work now. I like it. It's, uh, the body is soaking it up. It feels wonderful to just go back to my, you know, my original method, which was out train them. Out train them now. I don't give a fuck what they're doing. Out train them, find a way. 
Find a way, man. I don't care. Find a way. <laughs>